Hey there, Jesse Ledoux, Pageant Planet's Queen of Coaching. So I'm guessing you're here because you want to enter a pageant or maybe you've entered one and you want to find a different pageant. So this is the most important starting point in your pageant journey. So congratulations on making the decision to find the right pageant for you. And I'll tell you straight off the bat that doing your research is the most important part of finding the right pageant that fits you. And most people skip it. And I'll tell you how I know they skip it. Because if you go to USA state pageants all across the country, they have upwards of a thousand contestants. And the reason they have that many is probably 75% of those contestants saw Miss USA on TV and said, you know what, I'm gonna give that a try. I mean, kudos to them. Putting yourself out there is not easy to do. Entering a pageant is one of the hardest things you can do as far as putting yourself out there, mental and physical preparation. So nothing wrong with that, no shame in that game. But I see so many of them like, oh my gosh, they would be a perfect fit for this system or that system because there are so many pageant systems that focus on different things. Every pageant has a different niche or a brand that fits them. They focus on different things. Some pageant systems focus on public speaking. Some require you to have a talent. And some are looking for that very traditional model look, like we just said, that Miss USA look. So you need to find a pageant that fits what your strengths personally are. And if you're entering a pageant really without doing the research, you might be entering something that you really are totally not equipped to, whether your natural abilities or your resources to be able to grow those abilities. I mean, I personally entered Miss America for a bunch of years and I, I have no talent, you guys. I have none. And I just bought the dream because I had been watching it on television my entire life. And then voila, I had wasted so much time had I not just found a pageant that didn't have talent. Because once I did, bing, bang, boom, crowns everywhere, success. Public speaking is clearly my skill. So had I just done the research and really thought about what I bring to the table, I would have been successful way earlier. So do that for yourself. Skipping this can be a huge waste of time. If you're not organically that person that that system is looking for, you're gonna miss the mark on everything you do. So if you are, if you are a teen or a miss and you lean toward the more sophisticated, edgy side and you wanna wear a slit up to your thigh, that's totally fine. But maybe your passion system has a restriction against slits above the knee. So, oh my gosh, you're totally missing the mark already. Uh, so that's the case too. And then the second piece of that is if you don't naturally fit that mark, why do you want to change yourself in order to fit it to be successful? So start on the right path by finding the right one from the jump. A few places you can look to find the right pageant for you. The first is our pageant planet directory, free to use. Consider it like the pageant yellow pages, but I don't know if anyone watching actually knows what the yellow pages are because I mean, do people use the phone book anymore? Basically, it's a directory where we can match.com you to a pageant system in your area with your skill set, um, in your age division. I mean, there are pageants from age two weeks old to 82 years old, and you can find it by visiting that pageant planet directory. So it's pageantplanet.com backslash directory very easy to find. And then the other place you can look is in our articles. Every year we do a best in pageantry award and we do a top 10 list for Miss pageants, Ms. pageants, teen pageants, preteen pageants. Uh, we do all sorts of wardrobe that are really fun to watch. All of those will give you some ideas of some of the most prestigious pageants that have a ton of pride. They know who they are and you can get a feel for what wins in each of those by visiting those articles. And that's pageantplanet.com backslash articles. The other places you can look, you can look on their social media or their website because you're going to get photos, content straight from their pageants, their queens, hugely important. And a lot of websites will also have frequently asked question sections. So those things you're like, okay, but what do I wear for this? What do I do for this? How long is this pageant? Where do I have to go? Can I have a hair makeup artist? Can I have a coach? All of these overwhelming questions might be available at the snap of a finger if you visit their website. So social media, websites, critically important. And what I think is so important before I can be different Miss International is I asked everybody that I knew that competed in that pageant, 
what I needed to know or what they wish they had known before. So by asking people that have been involved in that pageant system or the industry in general, you're probably going to unearth some really interesting information. The good, bad, and the ugly, people don't hold back in this industry. So hopefully you get some good, clean truth and you can make the decision for yourself. Um, and then from there, figure out what are the requirements. So some pageants require you to pay for your own hotel, your own hair and makeup artist, um, your own ward of all of that. Actually, that's pretty standard. So you just have to know going into it what's expected of you. If you're having a hard time coming up with the money for your evening gown, it's gonna be even harder to come up with several nights of hotel and lodging and travel um, if that pageant's looking for it. So it has to match up with your resources and your financial ability. So keep an eye on making sure you know what it's gonna cost you. And a great starting point to know is if you're entering a national pageant, the odds are you're going to spend around $5,000. And I mean, I promise, I am frugal. My evening gown for stage was under $500. And I still probably spent $5,000 on hair, makeup, travel. All of that adds up. So you have to be realistic with yourself and your budget from the very beginning. The next piece of puzzle you should think about is... Oh, I'll toss my hair back on this one, is your platform, one of my favorite parts of pageantry. So you should, as a contestant, have your own platform, um, and it should just be a social impact that's important to you. And then pageants themselves will often have a national or an international platform uh, that you can work with when, if and when you win the title alongside of them. So there's two folds here. The first thing is, one, you want to make sure you can align with their platform. It's something that you're passionate about because you don't need to get rid of your personal platform and adopt somebody else's, but you should be able to be passionate enough where you wake up and you want to make a difference. So here's your platform. Here's their, their platform. Some days might be theirs more. Some might be yours more, but at least they can both rise up and you can make an amazing difference. And then the last thing you want to look at, oh, yes, the best, is the prize packages. So with winning a pageant can come so many fun perks. If you're looking to see the world, there are pageants that can take you to multiple different countries during your year, or they'll pay for your travel to do your own trips to those places. Uh, Amazing. If you are in high school or if you're in college and you need scholarship money, there are plenty of pageants that either have scholarship funds or offer a free ride to a four-year university or college. That can tremendously help you on your path to your dream degree. And then there's others that have modeling contracts or fashion exposure. Maybe you get a free trip to the Sherry Hill fashion show during New York Fashion Week. Oh my gosh, so cool. And some people love that more than others. So by doing that research, seeing if you fit their brand, seeing if it's financially a match for you, does your social impact uh, causes line up with it? Do the prize packages fit what you're looking for? All of those things are so important when you're looking to find the right pageant for you.